you probably realize by now, and if you're watching my videos and have subscribed to my channel, that you are a light worker and you are here to serve. Now, I want to talk about what does serving actually look like. I'm going to explain what serving looks like or what it's like to be a light worker, what it means to be a light worker for me, from my perspective. The earth is going through many, many changes right now, and those changes are being driven by this process that we call ascension. And in reality, the light that's pouring into the planet that is pouring in through you as a light worker are creating a lot of the experiences that collective the collective is having. And when people are unconscious and they're navigating this world based on their, you know, what they're, they've been taught, based on their traumas, based on their limiting beliefs, anything or an event that comes along that disrupts that or challenges the belief systems can be very, very traumatic. It brings up all of those traumas that they had when they were young, brings up tremendous fear, brings up tremendous anxiety, and people can often feel like the world is collapsing or the world is ending. We've gone through events, I know in my history, in my 50 years here, um, that really were very, very traumatic, such as 9-11 and, and COVID. So those are just two of uh, numerous, you know, global catastrophes that have happened over the past 50 or so years. So these events really represent bridges to new higher frequency experiences or new Earths. Okay, as we're moving up through the fourth dimensional field, the planet is changing and what we experienced on a lower frequency is going to change as we move to higher frequencies. And therefore, some of the things that were constructed or put in place, some of the structures, some of the ideas, some of the concepts on how the world works needs to change in order for these shifts to happen. So we go through these timeline jumps and it really rocks our world. 9-11 and COVID were really prime examples of that. And there were there were many people that were just stuck in fear because when you're when you're seeing the planet or the the reality from a state of fear, it can really close you off or keep you anchored to something that is dying or being left behind, like an old version of Earth. So as a light worker, my purpose is to be able to stay anchored in the heart space and be able to bring that light forward for those who are in fear or traumatized and can't quite get out of it so that they could see the light in me and remember that that light is who they are so that they could start to let go of some of that fear that is trying to be shed so that they could move also to a higher frequency timeline, okay? So I know we see a lot of these events there's a lot of death, there's a lot of destruction. And part of that is because that's the way the collective mind works and the human brain works. And we have to stitch together some sort of event in a timeline in order for us to be able to make sense of a changing world. When in reality, what's happening is that old timelines are being left behind and new timelines are coming into view. And as we continue to ascend, through the fourth dimensional field, we're going to continue to have these opportunities to move to higher frequency timelines. Now, in the fourth dimensional field, that's where all of this fear is going to come up. So that's why a lot of these events taking place are fear-based because they are trying to, they're really designed to get into the collective psyche or collective consciousness and allow them the, the fears and the dense emotions that are tying the collective to an old version of Earth to be released so that all of that energy can be made available to manifest a higher frequency version of earth. Now, again, as a light worker, think of yourself as um, the gatekeeper or the bridge keeper. Really, what you're doing is you're standing at the bridge from the old timeline to the new timeline, and you're broadcasting this beacon of light within the darkness, within the fog for people to be able to find you so that they can feel or experience a sense of peace as their body is trying to release all of the dense energetic emotions, okay? 
So in order for that to happen, they need to be able to get centered and breathe and sit and be with this energy. And that's where you come into play to be able to offer that space to be able to do that. That's why so many light workers have been born since the 60s, right? And they keep coming, light workers and star seeds. We keep coming down, we keep anchoring the light. The earth can no longer hold the old density, so it comes up into the field to be experienced, right? We can't just process a shift in a timeline like that. The collective mind and the human mind can't process that kind of a shift. So being that we're in a frequency that has time and space in a timeline, these events or these shifts from an old earth to a new earth manifest as these catastrophic or fear-based events. Again, allowing for people to be able to get heart-centered, reconnect with their divine being, their higher selves or divine love, and further alchemize the fear so that their bodies can rise and make that jump as well. There are many out there who don't make that jump and that's their choice and that's their life path and we end up losing them or they end up dying. So these are individuals that choose to experience this timeline ascension from a higher frequency without their body. And then they also choose in many cases to reincarnate and go through those experiences again. Okay, so you as a light worker are here to experience this from the ground perspective, anchored in a body and bring your body with you, meaning you went through the dark night of the soul. You've gone through the clearing within your body, the healing process. You've anchored a lot of your divine energy. Your body's vibrating at a higher frequency. So your body is moving along to experience these grand or huge shifts in the planet as a human being. Okay, so there are others who have not yet awakened who are here to do that as well. So that's where the light worker in you comes in to be that beacon of light, to be that beacon of peace, that beacon of hope, to illuminate that bridge when the old timeline or old version of Earth is ready to fall away and it gives rise to all of those dense emotions, those fear based emotions. We're here to stabilize that energy, to alchemize that energy and allow others to find the light within that they are. Okay, so that's how I experience or how I believe um, my definition of being a light worker and what that is and what that looks like. So keep that in mind because we're going to see or experience a lot of craziness, especially in 2024. Things are just accelerating and getting even more crazy, right? And people, more and more people are going to be awakening, coming out of that slumber, that unconsciousness. There's going to be a lot of fear that's going to be released. So you're going to be needed more than ever to stand at the base of that bridge, the beginning of that bridge, and cast your light as brightly as possible so that you can be a beacon for as many souls as you can be to be able to help them locate that bridge so that they can navigate with their body to the next timeline that is beginning to manifest a higher frequency timeline. So thank you so much for listening. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.